Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Pinoy Abroad. So I just finished watering my lawn. It's actually getting drier now. It's been super hot lately and uh, it's been super dry also. Over here also. I did some cleaning here in the garage guys, but um, actually I made this video because I wanted to chat with you. It's been a while since I posted videos like this. Um, a lot of my videos lately are just kind of camping and you know going to places um, out of states and stuff like that. But um, today I'm actually going to talk to you about something I think that's really important. And that's like expectation when you come here to the states. And that's because um, a lot of peeps that come here nowadays, um, they get frustrated. And uh, some of them are my friends and I wanted to chat with you guys about the reality especially now that um, there is an upcoming recession. Also, life here in the States is not getting better. Um, and that's true to every place else in the world. Like, there's no place on Earth that I could think of that's getting better and better over time. Everything's just getting harder. Um, and that's the truth of life. So, I want to chat with you guys about that today. So, I hope you stick around. <music> Guys, punta muna tayo ng St. Paul. Uh, bibistahin ko muna yung aking suki doon sa Manila Sizzling. Kasi, I think, marami siyang niluto doon na masasarap. Na pwedeng pang ulam mamaya ang gabi. O kaya nga yung lunch. It's raining, guys. Hello! Why not chon? Ano to? Sinawali? Kukopo, hindi kukopo ko ng ano, to go lahat. Ah, oh. uh, kung large niyo ng ano, nilaga. Yo pa. Nilaga. Sinikang po ba 'yan? Sige, okay lang. Tapos ito ano po ito? Okay po. Dito na Skip ko muna niyan. So, kukuha na lang ako ng uh, ito din. Tapos, meron po kayo sisig. This is a beautiful park here close to our house guys luckily you're the only ones here um, there's not apparently a lot of people today so it's a good day to talk to you guys um, we were just here last month with our friends we were barbecuing we had a great time but anyway um, alright guys so as I was saying guys a lot of people who come here to the states have struggled almost 99 percent of the people I've talked to that came here fresh 
have struggled in and that's just normal guys and you know even if you looked into the history of this country like even the first immigrants of this country um, they were from Europe and they came here to escape persecution from Europe um, to hopefully find a better place to live hopefully to hopefully be able to to live freely um, in this country even they had to struggle in the beginning and you know even my parents and they came here my mom could attest that you know life here is not really easy i mean when she came here to the state she had a struggle um and she had a struggle for a while until she eventually got stable and it took a while for her um to reach that stable lifestyle of hers um and and, and i'm not saying that it's going to be the case on you guys but um, I just wanted to put this out there for you guys to accept reality and to face reality because just like what I've been telling you in my previous videos life here in the States is not a paradise and if you are already stable where you live in I mean hindi naman masama guys na makontentos kung anong meron ka lalo na kung stable na yung trabaho mo stable na kung anong meron ka um, the problem with other people is that they still aspire for something more, um, which is not bad. Don't get me wrong. Um, kung mas nangangarap ka pa ng much better life um, sa labas ng bansa or out of your comfort zone, um, that's good. Pursue it. But hopefully, before you come to the states, hopefully you've already done your research because you know I've had friends that you know they came here to the states and you know they they spent all their savings from somewhere else that they earn these savings so like from the Middle East nakapag ipon na sila doon and they they came to decided to come to the states and all of a sudden yung ipon nila na ubus yun dahil sa because of the struggles you know just starting here in the states and not lalo na ngayon everything is becoming so expensive um, it's not like back in the days murang mura pa yung mga bilihin lat lat nowadays yung gas prices lang guys aawot ka na ng 70 dollars to even 80 dollars um, on your full tank pag nag premium ka or even 60 dollars kung dun sa unleaded so things are getting really worse and it's again it's getting really bad over time um, and so i just wanted to put this thing out there para makita ninyo yung katotohanan kung ano talaga ang buhay dito sa kung meron man akong bagay na natutunan dito sa america guys walang iba kundi yung magpakasipag, magpakatsaga, at maging independent dahil sa walang spoon feeding dito. Um, lahat ng mga kaibigan ko, mga pagsasabi niyan, um, lalo na yung mga nanggaling ng ibang bansa, nanggaling na sa, sa Middle East, um, makikita nila yung difference ng buhay dito na ang akala natin nung una nung nasa Pilipinas pa tayo, yung mga tao dito sa Amerika, pampered sila, akala natin marangya ang buhay nila pero ang katotohanan niyan hindi guys a lot of people here in the states they even have to get a double job just to make ends meet sometimes they have to work and also at the same time they have to go to school so they're working students most of the students here are working students hindi ko narana something that i did not experience when i was in the philippines because my parents were financing everything in school uh, my tuition my books and everything um, I was a full-time student and I thought my life in the state in, in the Philippines was worse than my life here so another reason why other people get really sad when they get here is because of, of the social life that they miss from another country so for example some of my friends that I know that came here from Abu Dhabi or from another country in the Middle East they kind of miss the social life there um, it's kind of like the same of the social life they had in the Philippines kasi yung culture natin sa Philippines sanay tayo na nandyan lagi yung kaibigan natin mga katropa natin nakaka-socialize natin all the time um, nung pumunta sila ng Middle East I think they pretty much got the same social life there kasi ang daming ang Pilipino dun whereas dito sa America bihira so I think that's one of the reasons yung iba talagang na board sila, nalungkot sila ng sobrang yung iba nga umiiyak pa. And, 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 I, and I think that's not wrong to feel that way. I think it's normal. Kasi lahat naman ng tao dumadaan sa ganong stage. 
But eventually, isa lang masasabi ko sa inyo guys, that if you put more hard work here, eventually, in the end, it'll pay off. So, hindi sayang yung puhunan mo. Na I know na sometimes yung ibang tao, they come here, binibenta nila yung mga ari-arian nila sa Pilipinas or whatever savings na naubos nila dahil sa pumunta sila dito sa US but just think of that as your investment guys sa investment guys pag nag-invest ka into a business hindi mo naman makukuha agad yung puhunan mo in the beginning eh. hindi naman agad-agad na bumabalik sa'yo it takes time eventually it will pay off it's not gonna happen overnight it's not gonna happen the next day or the next month it'll happen eventually along the road kaya I hope I'm giving you some sort of encouragement or some sort of hope dun sa mga nalulungkot. Kasi I know I have some friends out there na nalulungkot talaga sila. But I've been through what you've been through and I just want to let you know that it's okay. Continue to aim for your goals and continue to do what is right. I think you'll get where you're headed to. So, yun lang masasabi ko guys. I hope nakapagbigay ako sa inyo ng encouragement. Kung may questions man kayo guys, I think from this time on I will be making videos like this um, and then also some informational videos um, and some updates about what's happening here. So I hope you continue to follow me on my channel. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the bell button so I can notify on my next videos and thank you all for your support. I'll see you soon. Peace.